Here you can see the simulation of a sign that I've created. Now you can see that it doesn't have a chamfer around the outside, which I would like. And also I want to create a few grooves going around certain parts of this sign. So if I turn on my vectors here, so first of all, I'm going to machine the outside and create a chamfer and show you how to do that. So if I select the outside vector and you can do this by using the profile tool. So if I create a profile tool path and rather than go on the outside, what I need to do is go along the vector. Enter a finish depth. So I don't want to go half an inch. So if I'm using a 90 degree V bit, obviously whatever depth I go, that will take off the side. So let's try maybe 20 foot. Select a tool. And I'm going to use a 90 degree V bit. Now you can use any other degree V bit, but it means that obviously you're not going to get a 45 degree chamfer. And also you're going to need to use trigonometry to work out how deep you need to go in order to take so much off the side. So let's select the 90 degree and then I'm going to calculate now. Then it creates the profile. So I'm going to rename that to, let's just call that chamfer. And then I can simulate that. So press play and you can see that running around the edge. So if I zoom in, you can see that it's created the chamfer. Now it's quite a small chamfer. So what I can do is double click chamfer and Let's make it, let's say, a bit deeper. Let's say 0.1 and calculate now. Then I can just simulate that again. And you can see it's gone a lot deeper. So that's basically how you create chamfers around the edge of your parts. Now to create grooves, it's exactly the same. So if I turn on the vectors, and let's say I wanted to create a groove, let's say here and here, using a V bit again. Exactly the same thing, go to tool paths, create a profile tool path. Profile, you want that to be set to a long. Enter a finished depth. Now I want this to be quite small, so I'm going to make this, let's say 40 feet and then enter a profiling tool. Let's use the same V-bit, 90 degree. Now you could use any angle for this. This really doesn't matter. It's all about how it actually looks. Click select and then calculate now. So if I simulate that one and press play, you can see that it gives me a groove and it's just basically following the line. Now you don't have to use V bits for this. You can use any sort of form tool for this. So you could use a round over, a ball nose, any sort of form. And you can, you can even use an M mill, which will just follow the profile. So for this one, let's do a profile again and set it to a long and let's set a depth let's say 40 foot again the profiling tool I'm going to use a ball nose for this one let's say a sixteenth of an inch and then calculate and then let's simulate this one Okay, so there you can see it's given me a different type of form on there. 
So you can use any type of tool to do this. And that's how you create chamfers and grooves.